Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little hat out of one of the stamping up button or embellishment holders. Um, and it's it still opens so you can keep things inside it or give it as a little gift and I thought it was really cute. I'm going to start off by showing you quickly how to do the flowers. I have shown this before with Tombow but I'm just going to show it with a hot glue gun. Um, in case you want to do it that way. So this is cut with the spiral flower die um, and I've got a hot glue gun here and this is the um, uh, silicon mat um, from Stampin' Up. My preferred way of doing these spiral flowers is with a wooden chopstick. It just holds, um, just grips the paper I find a little bit better and makes it a breeze to just wind the flower right up. Just pop that bit out of the way and it's super easy. And then see these little bits on the bottom? That's where I'm going to put plenty of glue and so you can do this with Tombow. I'm going to let the flower go just a little bit and then I'm going to press down in the middle. I've got the kind of cool glue rather than the super hot so if you're using a super hot glue do be careful of your fingers and then I'm going to put these aside and come back to these on the project in a moment so my circle I'm going to use um, it, it's cut with a framelits die this is the one that's sort of four inches I would say um, the size of the brim is up to you um, you know just choose your choose your preferred size and then I use the next circle down and cut some designer paper to coordinate. Now this is from, you've seen me I think use this before but this is the gorgeous uh, Moonlight Designer Series um, pack and it's got the, some of these lovely new in colours. This is the um, Blackberry Bliss which is my absolute favourite and we're also using um, Hello Honey today on here. So that's just going to glue on a little Tombow. If you've got the old scallop circle big die, that's quite a nice edge for this as well. You could use that one. It's retired now but you might still have that in your craft room. Then I'm going to take my buttons box. I'm going to take off the old topper um, to cover up on the inside so that when you open it it looks neat and you can't see that label so even if we take that label off there's a bit of glue going on there um, I'm going to cut with the two and a half inch circle punch and pop that inside and it just fits I'm just going to squeeze it in you sort of almost don't need to glue that because it's it's um, so not fitting. Right the next thing we're going to do is to decorate um, the sides of the box. Now because I'm going to put ribbon on here I did do this with designer paper and some cardstock last time but this time I'm just going to go um, go ahead and use um, Whisper White um, paper because I'm putting ribbon on I think the ribbon it just didn't show up so well against the um, the designer paper and I'm using a new toy this is called fast fuse this is like using the red red sticky strip but in a dispenser and I'm going to tell you that when I first got this I didn't get on with it at all I was trying to use it like snail and it wasn't working and I've just figured out why with fast fuse you need to go downwards, so here's, here's my piece of paper, I need to go downwards, not at an angle, it doesn't want to go like that. So going straight down from above, I'm dragging this down and it is leaving a little piece of glue along the edge as though I'd used sticky strip. And that means we do not have to get those bits off the back of the sticky strip and have them on the floor and sticking to us but it is just the same as using sticky strip in terms of the amount that it is sticking okay um, and I didn't say but I've cut this at about five eighths of an inch 
um, in the Whisper White. And then I need to go round um, on the top again. So, a bit more of a challenge because it's a very narrow piece. But again, I'm going to just come down. Whoops. So when you when you want to lift it off, you need to go sideways, flick it sideways to actually lift it off and stop it. And other than the fact that it's this is very narrow, so I have actually managed to stick that to my grid paper. Probably the best thing to do it would have been to do it on top of my um, silicon sheet because it would have come straight off. And I'm just sorry, I'm doing that off camera. I'm just winding that round. And then once again, I'm just going to trim so that that meets exactly. Um, and I didn't tell you the measurement all the way round. Um, it is 20, 20 and a half centimetres, basically, which is 20 and a half centimetres, is going to be about eight inches going all the way round. OK, so that's those pieces there. Now, that doesn't look terribly pretty at the moment, but we're going to make it super pretty with some ribbon. So the first thing I'm going to do is to stick that on there. Um, I'm going to go for some dimensionals here because the middle of this pot is actually dipped down. And if you just try and stick that on with any regular glue, it, it might well come off. So I'm not going to stint. Usually I'm quite, I'm quite stingy with my dimensionals, but I'm not going to stint here because I don't want this to fall off, so I'm going to put plenty of dimensionals on the bottom here. And of course, because we've put that circle on the inside, um, this little label here is going to be completely covered. And again, I could measure, and what I'm doing is I'm going to line that up with my grid paper and get the sort of the, the cross there in the middle, give me a little bit more of a guide, but I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to eyeball it and that looks more or less the middle. So there's our hat shape. So let's make it prettier by tying round some of this beautiful ribbon. And I'm going to do a knot here. Could do a bow. Um, and I want the tails just to come out. Just trim those off. Now we want the top of this to be just as pretty and I was going to use, I've just realised, I was going to use this side but I've gone ahead and used this side so that's the side I'm using. <laughs> oh dear, right I'm cutting the circle out with the two and a half inch um, circle punch <laughs> and we'll try some fast fuse again. Can you see I'm just flicking it upwards or flicking it to the side to actually release it pop that on the top <laughs> okay and I'm going to do some little leaves which I'm going to do with the um, the leaf part of the bird punch and I'm just using the um, some strips of cardstock I find this is the most efficient way if I just want the leaf is to actually cut myself a, a kind of a strip about an inch wide, three quarters of an inch, inch wide. Cut myself some little leaves and they're going to go, I'll just put a little bit of Tombow on the back of those. We'll trim off the tails when I see where the where exactly the flowers are going. And I'll just put one on for the time being. Let's actually trim that there because that's not going to and then I'm going to bring my hot glue gun back in and my flowers and we'll we'll pop those on. Right, now while I was faffing around getting those, I suddenly realised I'd done one of my joins on the top of the lid um, and it was just right at the front where I could notice it. So I've just cut a little tiny strip of um, the uh, Blackberry Bliss cardstock and, and put that over the top, on the top of that. Um, lid and it definitely looks a bit better. Um, so I've got my glue gun now, my hot glue gun, and I'm going to stick these two um, flowers. In case you wonder how I did the smaller one um, on here, I just cut the end off the die, um, off the off the die cut piece, not off the die. 
off the die cut piece. I'm going to put plenty of hot glue on there and pop that on. And which side should we have the that side or that side? I think we'll have it around near the knot. So I'm going to put a big blob of glue, hot glue on there as well. And put my yellow one on. And I'm not a mad fan of hot glue. You don't see me using it very often. Um, I prefer I prefer the likes of Tombow and so on. So it's a bit more controllable for me. So I'm just going to put another little leaf under there, maybe one more. trimming of the ribbon and there we go so there we are that's both projects which one do you prefer I think I like the colours that I've done today I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's craft room today go and have a look and see if you've got any of those empty accessory pots and maybe go and make some little hats thank you for visiting and look forward to seeing you again Love.